The weather now, we're all fooled into feeling like this weather is nice, like even though it's like head. 92 degrees. <laughs> right. It's, it's better chilly. than 103. It's, it's better, than 105, better than 105, which it was, it was really. Sunday. We were still in the 90s today, but it was less humid. So it didn't really tap into the cooler air just yet. It is still August, but the less humid air does make it feel maybe a little more bearable. Right. We'll and we didn't it. have a hurricane. And we didn't have a hurricane. Yeah, right. We still have the rest of the season to go, but yeah. we did not have to deal with Adalia, thankfully. And let's take a look at where Adalia is right now. Still some very heavy rainfall moving into the Carolinas. It looks like the center is just about over Savannah, Georgia, with winds at 70 miles an hour. As of the four o'clock advisory, Adalia had been downgraded to a tropical storm and will continue to weaken as the center is over land. However, it's not going to stay over land for much longer. We will see the storm thankfully uh, kind of leave the uh, uh, Carolina coastline as we head later on into the uh, early morning hours tomorrow and into Thursday midday and then thankfully taking the strongest winds with it. Now we are expecting that it will continue to weaken over the open Atlantic. Now if you remember earlier there have been a couple of the ensemble members that were trying to turn what is left of it back toward the Gulf. Now most of them indicating that it is just going to get drawn northward actually with what will eventually become the remnants of Franklin. Franklin also weakening kind of in the same area and both of those kind of remnant lows will eventually just drift into the North Atlantic. So it does not look like what is left of it is going to turn back into the Gulf of Mexico. Beside Adalia and Franklin, Franklin now down to a category two. We have a couple of little areas that are being watched for possible redevelopment. Gert, a low end chance of development. We also have tropical depression 11 and a wave off of Africa, but none of those systems look as though they're going to threaten land. So as far as land areas impacted, it looks quiet for a while. Now we've got the dry air moving in big upper trough and it actually is kind of interesting. You follow this upper high that is sitting over, say, just to the north of the Bahamas, and this is probably why some of those models indicated maybe the remnants of it getting kind of picked up into that. But as of right now, it looks like most of the model guidance is indicating it's going to get kind of picked up by this upper stream and drawn out into the open Atlantic and not threaten us at all. Now what we again kind of benefited from uh, Adalia was the fact that we had this reinforced northerly wind Wind. That helped to bring in drier air and the less humid air is still pushing south. We've been watching the dew point at Kenner steadily drop from the lower 70s the last hour now down into the 60s and they will continue to fall into the overnight hours. Uh, not dramatically so, but dew points today had been in the lower 70s in the metro area and that didn't feel too bad. They'll come down even more overnight tonight and through most of the day tomorrow. So we're going to hang on to that drier air for a little while longer, but unfortunately we're not getting rid of the hot temperature. As I said, it is still late August, almost September, and it takes a little bit more to bring in the cooler air. All this did help do was bring in drier air, which, hey, I'll take it. High temperatures over the next couple of days will be in the 90s. Now, we're also going to be watching this little spin right here. What this is is an upper level low, and that will start increasing instability, also drawing back the Gulf moisture. So dry tomorrow, but as we head into late Thursday, more so Friday, the humidity starts coming back and the added instability will also by Friday start bringing back scattered rain chances. That looks to continue through most of our Labor Day weekend. If you forgot, Monday is Labor Day. And so with the holiday weekend coming up, it does look to be wetter, not a washout. But I don't think too, too many folks are going to be upset with the increase in our rain chances. Very much needed. And we'll at least keep some mention of rain even into early next week. Temperatures outside right now in the lower mid 90s. Dry air warms more efficiently. So Gonzales, Baton Rouge, upper 90s. Our high today though at Kenner 92 when the climate data came out, but you saw we are currently at 93. So that is the high for the day. Our morning low is 80, but I do think we'll be cooler overnight tonight and into tomorrow as the humidity will be even lower. Outside at the moment we enjoy blue sky, a hotter day or hot day, but the dew points humidity have not been nearly as bad. So we'll hang on to that drier air for one more day before the muggies and rain chances start to return. It does look like a bit more cloud cover and more scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms for the weekend. And if we can keep the cloud cover rainfall around, it should keep us into the upper 80s. Labor Day, again, not a washout at all this weekend, but much needed rain. And we'll keep a few isolated showers in the forecast into mid next week.